my room is chaos right now from that and it's crazy because i think i tried on like four or five outfits and i don't know how i made this big of a mess and it's probably because i wasn't cleaning as i was going which is one of the first fights me and my ex ever got into is that i don't clean as i go but i'm like why would i do that when that's like making the going process take longer when i could just clean and go and come back and clean no wait no i can make mess go come back clean like i will say i'm a huge proponent of cleaning the house before you get back because there's nothing more fucking obnoxious than coming back home to a dirty house it's the worst feeling ever right okay this video is brought to you by thread up it's another outfit video i love using apps like thread up because i'm a huge proponent for secondhand shopping i think there's max two or three things in this whole video that aren't secondhand i think secondhand shopping is the best thing you could do especially if you have an individualism ego like me because i hate the idea that people have what i have because we live in a day and age where everybody cares about what you have and it's like oh what do you have what do you have i don't have that I, I want that um but i don't want people to have what i have even though when i see people have stuff that i don't have i'm like i want that and then i go and find like things that kind of look similar but then it's like never the thing and then I, that thing haunts me forever If you don't know, ThreadUp is a secondhand thrifting app. You can either sell your things or buy things. I usually am somebody who's buying my things more often than selling, but I think it's like such a good way to hand off what you've used and get back something new so you can refresh, spice up your life, as some groups would say. ThreadUp has some new features that make shopping even easier than it ever was, and if you click the link in the bio, you can shop similar items to what I show you in this video and take a look around for yourself and see if you find anything new especially now that we're back in spring and summer's around the corner although I think most of the outfits I show are definitely more spring oriented but that's because I live in LA and the weather's still very finicky here and I go to New York a lot and I feel like that's kind of the same situation happening it's a bit finicky also I'm going to Korea so all of these outfits I'm, I plan on wearing there but that's a different conversation my favorite way to find items on ThreadUp is I save searches and also I usually just look up brands and look through what they have because I know what brands I really like and gravitate towards at this point. Oh, this top is one of the pieces I got. It's like this vintage Ralph Lauren tank top that I really like. It's really, really flattering um, and the navy top is Ralph Lauren, but you'll see it later. But yeah, I hope I can inspire you to click the link in my bio and use code ENYA for 35% off instead of you, the usual 30%. Everybody sleeps on codes, but codes are so important for online shopping because there's so many codes floating out there and why not use my name because my name is awesome and it's actually easy to spell and remember. And it's not some long code. You could just do it in four clicks. Just saying. But thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Now onto the most, the more important thing, the clothes from ThreadUp. Because I have a shopping addiction and it's really bad. But I actually did do some spring cleaning this year, which is really rare. I like sold and donated like 20 bags worth of clothes. And those also, that makes it sound like I had like just this insane array of clothes and you'll only see me in the same five outfits. I was just kind of hoarding off things because I have a really emotional attachment to clothing when I have it. Um, like recently I thought I lost something and it just the idea that I lost it was making my body ache But then I found it because it was in my dirty hamper. Yeah, let's get into it Oh my god, what's the first outfit? Oh, I know the first outfit because it stunk because I wore it to a concert yesterday Okay, also I someone's gonna have something to say about how basic my outfits are, but that's just me like That's just how I like it. I think especially as we inch towards the hotter weather that's why I want to do this now too because it's like spring and you can still wear jackets and like kind of long sleeve and like more interesting pieces. Not that there aren't interesting summer pieces, but I find that during the summer I just tap more into like my Miami vibe where I want the smallest thing on my body. I want the thinnest piece of clothing, the smallest pieces of clothing, and I want to look like a slut and that's my only vibe. Not to say that like Miami is full of sluts, but like I am from Miami so like that is my vibe. I'm like, I'm on my Miami slut vibe. So it's like a summer haul is, or like vibe or clothing is less interesting. But I will say for ones, I've been shopping for the summer because usually I feel like if anybody pays attention, I wear like tiny shorts and tiny shirts for the summer. But I have been 
gathering my summer essentials but this is definitely more spring a lot of it actually i could wear in the summer and get away with because again in la it still gets cooler at night until i feel like july august so i am in the safe zone i am in the no splash zone so the first thing is this vintage dress just like a vintage dress i got at a local thrift shop in la um Pretty good price on this too. This was like 30, 40 bucks, which is a lot for something that someone probably like wee weed their pants and had the plague in. But I can, I, I'm at the point where this is like a hundred years old. So I don't feel that bad spending like $40 on it when there's brands that are selling these kind of things for that price. Um, and then this Jill Sander jacket. I can't remember the prices of all these things, so I will be putting them up. This is so awesome. I have like a few bomber jackets now. I literally have three. That's a big issue I have with shopping too, is I find one thing that I really love and I'm like, damn, I should get this in three different materials from random brands and just like get a bunch of them because I like this one so much. But all of them are a little different. Like the other one I have has the classic orange lining because it's undercover. This one I really like because not only is it a bit thinner, which is nice, for springtime but I love Jill Sander <laughs> it's from the navy like sub brand genre sub genre of the brand um and yeah I love the pockets on this like the big the big seam line very nice very nice also this one's more fitted a lot of the ones I have are super big but I like that this one kind of especially with this outfit tucks me in a little bit these vintage Prada boots they're kind of like a uh, Fisher style boots and I really like them. I wanted to get some Fisher boots, just like actual Fisher boots. And then when I found these, I was like, this is perfect because everybody knows the Prada boots are really good and they're really nice, but I wanted something a little different. And I like that these are like this, um, they're like cotton. What's awesome too is like I'm entering the phase of my life where I rewear outfits so much and the outfit I'm about to show you is the most reworn outfit and I love this fucking skirt I got. This is awesome. So I've been wanting, on my last thread of haul, I got a Burberry skirt and I don't know if I showed it, but wait, I'll grab it. I got this. It's like one of their classic like pleated kind of wrap skirts. Um, is this Burberry? Yeah, it is. Um, and I really like this, but it's getting so hot. I can't really wear this and I like wearing this with sweaters because this one's high-waisted Which kind of bothers me the other one is a bit high-waisted, but I can hide it with shirts Which is what I usually do, but I love this outfit so much and I love this skirt so much It's like fully thin cotton. Let's see. It's 100% cotton There you go, baby I love reading these and it's like, do not wash, do not bleach, suck my balls. I washed this so many times. It did have pleats when it first came, but I kind of like that now it's just become like a bit pleated, but just like kind of a wrinkly mess. I love this roping material at the bottom. It kind of like keeps it almost weighted down, which is nice. Slow dive shirt, never forget Miss Bella showing me who slow dive was. God bless, changed my life forever. I love this shirt. This is one of my most worn t-shirts. But I love it in this outfit. And then again, I would wear this with this jacket. These other Prada boots. I love getting old Prada boots and sneakers. But specifically the sneakers. Because these can go for really cheap on apps like ThreadUp all the time. Because for the most part, people are just like, okay, this old beat up sneaker. Who the fuck wants it? And then I'm like, hello, 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 hello. I'm right here. This also has the original sole, which is insane um but yeah i got these recently and i love them so much because if you know me again you know that i love rocking like a hiking boot in the summer and i like these they're a bit beat up but i think with this outfit it looks so good and i would wear this on a hike and i don't care and you can't be mad at me like i would wear that to malibu because malibu gets a little chilly and then like if it's too hot i could take off my jacket and have this, the wind whipping me around super sexy also with those boots, uh, I wore, oh my God, with the boots and the skirt. Is my next startup item is this old black label Ralph Lauren top. I love shirts like this so much. It's like last year I was wearing a lot of those body suits. Um, and just since then I've been obsessed with that kind of like open chest, very decolletage box cut shirt. I feel like it's really flattering on me, especially someone with bigger boobs. Cause I can't wear like super, super low necklines unless I rock no bra. 
but that's just my personal preference um and this was such a good price for a silk shirt it feels so goddamn nice so like airy even though it's long sleeve like i could fully get away with wearing this in the summer especially at night and i wore this oh my god i literally can't find the shorts i just was wearing well i can't find the shorts but in that clip i'm wearing the pretties uh bloomers I those are a big summer and spring essential for me I just like getting my legs out in the summer even though I've been wearing a lot of long skirts because they're just so flattering for my short torso long leg combo they make my torso look longer because I wear them low-waisted um but yeah like pretty shorts or just any kind of bloomer tiny shorts I know Brandy does like kind of shorts that are same ish there's like a cuckoo cocoa I say that brand, Cuckoo Intimates, I say it wrong and I said it to Orion the other day and she was like, what the fuck is Coco? And I was like, yeah, right, <laughs> right. But I just wore those with the Prada hiking boots and it's very, I like wearing something so like sweet and then with a really heavy shoe or vice versa, something more heavy like my next outfit. I've been obsessed with these Dries jeans I got. Um, I love these I wear them so much and I need to get another pair and they go on sale online a lot and I was actually looking around on thread up but I couldn't find a pair in my size but yeah I've been wearing these so much and I like wearing these with super effeminate items with it because it just is a good little mesh but yeah what I'm wearing with it in this video this is a really cute like nighttime going out for drinks and I'm gonna have a lot of food so my belly's gonna get all big and I don't want to have to think about like you know the meme where it's like this bitch had three drinks and she forgot to suck in her stomach I don't want to be that even though like it doesn't matter and I'm not promoting that kind of behavior but we all know that as women that's just how we're programmed and like it's hard to shake that kind of ideology of sucking in my stomach all the time and I'm probably gonna give myself like a urinary infection or like some sort of issue because I know you could get an issue from sucking in your stomach but it, I just can't shake it that's like I was like born to do it sorry <laughs> this is vivian tam i love vivian tam i don't know if i have anything else from vivian tam i think i have like a dress but i think i might be thinking of the brand pine stood this really nice i've been liking all the off the shoulder sweaters but i just couldn't get myself to splurge on it because i wasn't sure how those looked on me because again with my bigger boobs i feel like i need something to oh i need something to support my big boobs my big heavy boobs um so i usually don't get these kind of things but i saw this on thread up and it was for such a good price and i love vivian tam so i copped it i'm so happy i did i think it looks so cute and then the shoes these cute i know i know i know literally in the last video i was like no more flats no more flats but i can explain this on one they're vintage prada and they're in a bag they came in a dust bag which i'm like yes that is awesome i love that i love that um vintage prada came in a dust bag we love that the last flats i got from thread up the aliyah flats also came in like a gorgeous box and those flats i wear the hell out of i do wear all my flats even though i have a million of them they're just so easy but these ones i've been really wanting to dip into like the kitten heel like having my toes out but I, i'm just so not used to having my toes out and i thought these were a good middle ground where like a lot of my foot is out but it's still a nice structured sweet flat and it's not anything too crazy and egregious and i don't know what egregious means like, I'm not even kidding. I don't know where that word came from. I think I just, like, read it. But I, I think I am using it, right? Yeah, right, right. These are fucking cute and you can't stop me. Although I do feel still insecure about my fucking toes being out. But my toes are really nice. And, like, you will not catch me lacking with ugly toes. I love everything. And I've worn everything so much. And I think that's always a good sign. It's a really good sign when you buy something and you immediately want to wear it. And you find yourself wearing it multiple times. Like... Do I have to explain why that's a good sign? Like, come on. Now for the last outfit. I also love this outfit. Shocker, shocker. Um, I've also worn this outfit multiple times. I'm an outfit repeater. I belong in jail. I wore this outfit on the first podcast back from the break. But um, what I didn't include in that, because why would I need a person on the podcast, is this gorgeous Stranice Gabriel Strail. I, I actually don't know this brand. I think I found it because I was online shopping and I saw this brand and somebody was selling 
this for an outrageous price like a bag from this brand and then I went on thread up and I found it for what I feel like is a steal for a nice leather bag it's super nice I love these like straps just that kind of simple touch that makes a tote bag look so much more impressive and well thought out because i always want a big bag but i have a hard time finding nice big bags that aren't super boring and just look like i'm wearing like a canvas tote bag especially if i'm going to be paying for a leather bag yeah i wore that with this vintage jean paul gaultier skirt literally one of my favorite skirts again secondhand i love this skirt it's probably one of my most worn pieces in my closet for the past year and then I wore it with this gorgeous, 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 like quarter sleeve Burberry top. That's again, kind of like that box cut. I feel like if I didn't have boobs, it would be more boxy and like kind of like chilled, but I have big boobs. Either way, I'm so happy with it. I could untie this and make it looser, but it came in the perfect tie and I don't want to untie it. Old Burberry logo, which is now the logo they're reusing again. So it actually seems really new and I'm with the times, but yeah, I've been on a Burberry kick. Thanks to Thread Up. Um, thank you so much for watching the most five simple outfits that literally any of you could have put together. So I know they're nothing special, but I hope you enjoyed because I enjoyed and I love talking about clothes and I love sharing clothes because it is probably of the pyramid of my life. It's definitely at the top of the things that I talk and think about which is maybe a little embarrassing to admit, but I don't care. Everybody has their thing. Some of you like to collect puff bars and suck on them all day. And I like to spend my time on thread up looking for the best deal I can on something that will bring me joy, even if the joy is momentary, uh, but th that joy will be repeated multiple days because I will wear it so much. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will be going to Korea this weekend which is so funny to say. So I'll be vlogging that, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully I do a good job. My camera did die, so I don't know, maybe Drew lets me take this camera because I look really good. I'm literally gonna post another haul from Korea probably, so that's what you'll see. More clothes, ugh. This girl, why I'm crazy. Okay, bye.